and I'm back today with another video. So today's video is going to basically be doing a Q&A for y'all. Y'all didn't even know me. I've been needing to do this video for the past four or five years since I started my YouTube channel. I used to have, I used to post like and ask me some questions, but I never got to them. So I am finally making a video. It's y'all didn't even know me. I'm going to have a couple questions that people have asked me from back then. And I'm going to have the updated questions to what people have asked me now. And I'm just, you know, tell y'all a little bit about me. Of course, any questions about college, I'm not going to answer because I'm not in college no more. But stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, share. Y'all have a tendency to watch my videos and not like it and comment. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So first thing first, what's your sign? I'm a Libra. All my Libras tap in. Y'all drop your birthday down below. My birthday is October 20th. Um, let me see. Uh, what's your biggest fear? I would have to say my biggest fear for real is losing my family. Like, I love my family so much. Like, I love them so much. Just beyond what words can say. Um, excuse my nails, too, y'all. My nails look a hot ass mess. Excuse me. What made you start a channel? I started my channel. Well, my first video was my Big Shot video. And I started my channel just because, like, back then, I feel like. It used to just be popping for real, for real back then. Like, I don't know. Like, if I would have never started, I mean, if I would have never stopped, like, being consistent, my subscribers and everything would be so up. Like, but, you know, life gets in the way. And it'd be to the point where sometimes I don't even be wanting to, like, be behind the camera just because of that. But I'm about to start just being off, just authentic and just real about everything because... Why not? Like, why not? Let me see. These are the questions from back then. I'm trying to, like, look at. I mean, that's why I'm, like, taking kind of long to see. But I think I'm going to continue to the new questions because those are questions. Somebody said, who's your favorite rapper? Back then, my favorite rapper used to be LaDirt. Now, I, I don't know. Like, it's whatever vibe I mean, honestly. Like, I don't know. Um, white or dark? These are new questions now. White or dark? I love. I, I'm. A, I'm gonna prefer white liquor, like reposado, over dark liquor any day. I used to like. Well, I ain't gonna say I used to like dark liquor, but dark liquor was cool. Like I could, you know, fuck with it. But now I don't give me no Hennessy. I never been a fan of Doucet. Don't give me nothing like that. Don't give me no Remy. I used to like Remy. I can't do Remy no more. So yeah, I'm a white girly. Spaghetti or Alfredo? Probably Alfredo because spaghetti, like, I can only eat but so much of spaghetti because it's not making me nauseous a little bit because of tomatoes, but I'm going to have to go with Alfredo on that one. Nachos or popcorn, those are two different vibes, but I'll probably say nachos just because I love eating, like, tacos and stuff like that. Um, A go-to date place. <sighs> I'm very adventurous, like, I like to do new shit, like, spontaneous shit, so, you know, going to, like, go-karting, or, like, ATV riding, or, uh, I don't know, I never, I've been to Topgolf, but I ain't never golf for real, for real, Topgolf is cool, like, I don't know, I just like to do different shit, I don't like boring shit, so, we go have some fun, get to know each other, that's my kind of vibe. My favorite car, that's my favorite car. I don't really have a favorite car for a girl, but my Toyota Corolla, my sports baby, that's my baby right there. Like, we locked in. <laughs> um, My favorite food, my favorite food, I don't know. Like, I love, love mashed potatoes, no sour cream with like steak or like salmon. I love salmon. Um, I love eating tacos. Um, I love hibachi. I love hibachi. I love ramen noodles, like the authentic ramen. Ramen, I love those. Um, I don't know. Like I, I just love food. Honestly, I love food. Um, my favorite song. My favorite song has to be for real, for real. Like all his music, just a vibe. Like just a vibe. Keep telling you, just a vibe. So I probably have to say as of right now. Favorite song, favorite artist, probably be Kaylin. Um, let me see. 
when you having kids, I'm not having no kids right now. <laughs> not having no kids. I gotta get my my life together. I gotta get my shit together. And I just wanna be stable before I bring kids into this world. Like, there's nothing wrong with having kids and all that, but I just feel like I just wanna be financially stable and just be at that kind of maturity. I'm not at that maturity yet. Like, I just, I'm just not there yet. I, <laughs> not there yet. <laughs> Uh, what made you start doing lashes? I started doing lashes June 2020. Um, I really started because I was tired of working at 9 to 5. Like, I was, like, sick of it. Like, I was working at Foot Action. No, not Foot Action. I was back in high school. I was working at Amazon and the Beast Supply Store for one month when I had got back from college when COVID had came. And after that one month, and I wasn't having no leisure time, no more time for myself, no time for my family and all that, I'm just like, hell no, nah, like, what the fuck? So, um, my homegirl, Jada, she had took her class for me. I had took my class two weeks later in June, and I had did my LLC and everything. And I got my LLC the day of my mom's birthday. It came back on um, June 24th. And, yeah, the rest is history. Like, I mean, you know, living off, just doing lashes. I went to esthetician school back in 2022, got my esthetician license. So, yeah. That's, that's that's how it started. Um, how many tattoos do you have? I have a lot of tattoos. I have one, no wait, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got like eleven tattoos and I want more. I want to finish the other side of my sleeve and I want to get something on my neck. Oh, I got 12. I got one back here. I forgot. But yeah, um, I can show y'all more of an end up of all my tattoos. But yeah. Um, do I plan on getting more? Yeah, I plan on getting more. Uh, how different is Las Vegas from Atlanta to you? And why did you choose to move there? <sighs> I always get this question. Like, even my clients and everything. Like, every time I come back in town, they be like, so have you been liking Vegas? And I just... Gotta say, I love Vegas. Even though right now I'm figuring my life out, like, right now I haven't been able to do clients out there because I didn't get my license out there. So I'm really just taking it and just figuring out life, just going day by day. And, you know, life is hard. You know, I'm never going to kick it. Like, I got everything figured out because I don't. But if Vegas is a vibe. I love Vegas. It's definitely better than Atlanta, especially being raised in Atlanta. I wasn't born in Atlanta, but I was raised in Atlanta. And just, I'm just tired of the same environment, the same damn highways, seeing the same people. I just wanted the variety. And I just love it, honestly. Like, it's just so much to do, so much to explore. But because I need to get my life together, I haven't really been exploring for a fruit. But once I get everything situated, I'm going to, like, continue taking y'all through my life with me and just letting y'all experience Vegas with me. But I love Vegas, like. I would do it all over again. Even though that drive from Atlanta to Vegas was crazy, I would do it all over again just because, like, my friend and I, we really manifested it. Like, we always on the West Coast. was always in L.A. last year. Um, we really was like, no, we're moving to Vegas on my birthday last year. I even have the video on my YouTube channel about us saying we were going to move to Vegas, and we did. And it just... Just different. The vibes are different. The people are different. The people are friendly. I'm just tired of Atlanta. I just needed a change. And yeah, I just wanted to be able to be back and forth for my business and everything and just continue to expand myself and just expand my business and just see new things. Like it's more to life than just staying in the environment that you're raised in. So yeah, I just love it. Y'all gotta come experience Vegas. If y'all haven't, come experience Vegas. This is a vibe. Um. My favorite color is purple. If you know me, you know my favorite color is purple. Um, the D days are here, so I already said that. Are you in college? I'm not in college. I was in college at Georgia Southern. I did one year, my freshman year. Haven't did it again. Um, I went to SPH school, got my license and everything. Uh, my favorite hobbies. My hobbies are to just lay down, watch TV, and binge watch shows. Uh, uh, I like to have deep conversations with my friends. Like when we, when the conversation is getting there, oh Trace, like I'm gonna have a mouthful to say. Like that's why I want to talk to my YouTube more because I be having a whole bunch of shit to say and just you know don't be saying it. But that's gonna change for sure. 
Oh, what else I like to do? I like to spend time with my family. I like to um, watch movies. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm really just a chill person. Like, I don't, I don't do too much. I go with the flow. So, yeah. What's your career job? My career job, really, I don't really have no, like, of course, I love what I do. Like, I'm passionate about, about what I do because, like, I used to say I want to do lashes back in high school, but I never did it. So, like, for me to have started doing lashes now and been doing lashes for, like, four years now, it's just, like, crazy because, like, what the heck? And I'm an esthetician, so it's, like, you know, but I really want to be able to just, you know, make past income as well and make my money by going to UPS and just shipping out my lash pipes and everything and just, like, you know, making a living off of that and being a constant creative for real just, like, being consistent. Like, that's really, like, what I really want to do for real feel. Um, mm, I don't know. I think that's all the questions. Oh, somebody had asked, what's, uh, let me see. What's your goals for the last quarter of 2024? My goals for the last quarter is to just grind, to get into the gym for a feel, be consistent. And I just want to, I just want where I'm at right now, in a better, even better place next year, this time. Like, I just, I'm just ready for everything to work out how it's supposed to fall into place, how it's supposed to. I'm giving all my worries and my stress to God because, like, God don't want us to be worrying. He just want us to just put in the work and he's going to do the rest and provide. So, I really just want to, you know, just build on my life already, but build on my life for real, for real in Vegas and just, just doing what I want to do and just, content creating, traveling the world more. I used to travel a lot. I want to get back into traveling the world like for real, for real. I want to be cruising and everything. Like, it's just so much I want to do. Like, I just want to be able to live life how I want to live life. Like, I want to make sure my family good. Like, that's that's big for me. Make sure my family good. I don't got to worry about nothing. Like, that's, that's where I'm at for real, for real. So, I just, yeah. Like, you know me, you know I love my family. Like, they, they're in my world, for real, for real. Uh, the last question for real, for real, somebody had asked me was, uh, no, it was two more, no, three more questions. I want to know why you can't be my superior chicken salad. <laughs> what? I'm not going to be nobody's superior chicken salad. Like, I'm focused on myself. Um, <sighs> it just, you know, Life just be life, yeah. I'm just trying to get myself together. I'm not really worried about niggas and shit. Like, it's just niggas is gonna come and it's gonna go, and that right nigga is gonna stay. So, until then, I'm just worried about myself and just getting my shit together because who the fuck else gonna get my shit together if it ain't me? Um, somebody asked, How's Vegas? Would you move anywhere else? Yes, I would move to LA, but LA is so damn expensive. So, until then, uh, I'm going to continue to enjoy Vegas. I can really see myself living in Vegas, though, because Vegas, like, the weather's always good. The vibes is always there. It's always something to do. And, yeah, like, I, as long as I'm on the West Coast, cool, because I just love the West Coast. Like, I'm, I'm a West Coast girl now. It is what it is. <laughs> um, when you move to L.A., I don't know when I move to L.A., but it, I can see myself definitely moving there. Um, I, I do love Vegas, though. I really love Vegas. If I could have somewhere in Vegas and L.A., I would. But I definitely would move to L.A. Um, I just don't know when yet, just because it's so expensive. And cost of living in Vegas is cheaper. It's even cheaper than Atlanta. Like, Atlanta, I don't know where the place to be getting their prices from, but Vegas is cheaper than Atlanta. Um, yeah, so... That's pretty much it for, for for this video. Just some other questions that I have found online. I would answer some questions, like like personal, more personal questions. But if y'all want to see that, I will do a part two. But y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share. I hope you enjoyed this video. My camera is about to die. That's really why I'm finishing it up, wrapping this video up. But turn on my post notification bell to see more videos that I may post, that, that I am going to post, and drop down some video you want to see down below and I got y'all so 
I hope y'all enjoy. And until next time with another video.